Hello, this is Greg Allison, Green Greg. It's coming to you a little past 10 p.m. Central Standard Time on 11 January 2021. And I got to ask a question. Are we facing uh, chaos in capital cities? Capital city chaos across all states in the United States and the capital in Washington, D.C. And there are protests and counter protests and things that have been going on. Is all this coming to us or is there something else? What is it with the FBI Bolton and the other events going down? Well, we're going to talk about all that. But I've got to tell you, you know, we're, we're, we're in perilous times. And you know, a lot of people have got their heads in the sand thinking everything's just going to wash over and be fine. I hope they're right. Let's pray and hope that that's the case. But what's happening right now is our freedoms, our rights are under direct assault like I've never seen before. <clears throat> and uh the 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 fight in between the two groups is off the charts so it's getting bigger and bigger and people that could be doing things to, he to heal the country and make it better are going the opposite way so they're throwing fuel in fire and that's not what not what we need in this time but we do need to make sure we preserve our rights i'm going to come to all that in a moment but uh just get ready guys our power grid may go down some things I've been hearing, you've got to consider we may lose our power grid. We may lose, you know, we had a power grid outage in Pakistan. It might be just coincidental. There was power, little grid outages in other countries and places, Germany and so forth. Uh, so it's been kind of going around. So we've got to consider this and get ready. But what, what does that mean for you? Get your gas, top off your gas tanks. Go to the grocery store. I already topped my tanks. I've been, I went shopping for groceries yesterday. You got to get yourself stocked up with immediately and you got to plan for other stockers. I don't know when it's so really all going to come down. These next few days are really crucial. So prepare yourself in the short term and do a longer term of prepping and planning too. Go back and watch my videos on uh, eating from the weeds and the trees. Hey, that's free. Watch my videos about going to the big box store. I did a couple along those. Just go down through my videos until you find them. Uh, you know, and I'm going to do a video real soon about cans. But also, so listen. I do these kind of videos. I do videos on gardening. I've got tons of videos on worm farming uh, and a lot more of those to come, bug out videos. So, but most of my videos of late have been about what's going on in the world because it's my proposition to help you survive, thrive, and stay out of the hive. And I tell everybody to keep your eyes out open and head on a swivel. That way you know what's coming at you. And in that regard, I bring you videos like this to help you keep your eyes wide open and head on a swivel. So subscribe to my channel. Bang the up notification bell and click off so you can get all my videos. My subjects and topics are broad, broader than they tell you, you should have on a YouTube channel. So I hope you can, you know, if the videos aren't something you're interested in, just, just wait till something else comes up. There's plenty more to come. Okay. So uh, just keep your eye out for that. Now, uh, also, I, I offer specials to you that are, you that are in keeping with the theme of the channel. And this is one you can get $70 off a uh, four week food supply for one individual, 2,000 calories a day for four weeks for, uh, and you get it uh, $70 off the total price works out to about uh, $8.10 and 11 cents, it's, you know, kind of in between uh, per day for, for food that lasts 25 years. And this is specially prepped for preppers because it's lightweight, it's freeze dried. You can take it with you and bug out, it's lightweight. You can take the pouches out of this bag, this bucket, this nice bucket, which is worth some, and put them in your backpack and off you go. No matter how much it may or may not snow. Yeah, we got snow here today. <laughs> so also uh, bear in mind what this is, is breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Well, the deal like this, you'll be a winner. And you get all kinds of other prepping supplies. Go to prepwithgreg.com. You find it at prepwithgreg.com and go in and click on the My Patriot Supply logo from the prepwithgreg.com. And once you check out the special deals, they're only available there. They're not available in the regular website. But go into the regular website. And you'll find all kinds of prepping supplies, food, a long years worth of food or more, and number 10 cans, other kind of prepping items, a whole range of supplies, gear, and uh, things that will last you for quite a while. So let me move on with our topic here. So now bear in mind, there, there are rights, that, and some of the rights, that are, we have First Amendment rights, every amendment, every right is being challenged right now. And, you know, I, We'll stand by some of these things, and I have read this before. Uh, the First Amendment says, Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. 
or abridging the freedom of speech or press or the right of people to peaceably assemble and to petition government for redress of grievances. So Cornelius, you've got the right to peaceably assemble. And that doesn't matter which side of the spectrum you're on, you've got that right. Now, you, you don't have the right to do so unpeaceably. And we've seen plenty of that from the summer up to now. And neither side is right. But, but it's funny how one side can jump on the other. And right now, Congress is jumping on people uh, who were at the rally. And it started out as a rally, rally protest. It don't matter. What matters is riot. Now, that's a different matter. You don't have the right to riot. You have the right to peaceably assemble. And um, two wrongs don't make a right. It might make a riot, but not a right. <laughs> you don't have the, <laughs> it's not right. That's a right. You don't have a right. It's not right. <laughs> okay. All that said. Um, now nah, it's not a funny matter. Sorry, I just word of play kind of kind of got me going there, but uh, it's definitely not a funny matter. It, this is really serious, uh, and, and and you know some people just because they were there are, are being said that they were and people were just standing there holding signs, singing, or, or, or accused of being insurrectionist, and the T word is used against them. So really, yeah, uh, the vast majority of people did not go in a building. And the ones that went in the building, um, you know, some, you know, some of them just walked through. They didn't do anything. The doors were open to them. They just walked through. Now, if somebody's in there bashing things, and that did occur, that's a different matter. Now, they were agitators, agent, agent, prophet, prophet came and talked today. Uh, there were people that went in there. Uh, some of them, I, I can't say they weren't Trump supporters. There were. There were some Trump supporters that were in the wrong. Which were also Antifa and other groups that went there uh, intentionally to, to cause trouble. And that's been shown already. So there were some of both. But the vast majority of people there weren't doing anything like that. Even the majority of the people went in weren't doing anything. Yeah, there were some exceptions. A guy carrying an electric, well, he got arrested. There was a guy with zip ties in Tennessee, got arrested. Yeah, okay. If you went in there with malcontent, yeah. Shame on you. There was uh, uh, you know, the horn guy. Uh, he's, I think he's traveling right now, but uh, you know he's he he's uh, subject to getting arrested. I've heard he was arrested, but no, I don't think that's the truth unless it just happened. Um, so, but there's a lot of misinformation about what's going down, and some of it may be coming from official sources. And this is what's got me worried: is uh, some of the, the projections of things to come. So we're going to go. Over, I'm going to do some shares here. We're going to go to look at some websites here. All right, so FBI has come out with a bull. The FBI says armed protest. Okay, having arms, you have a right to bear arms as long as you're not using them. <laughs> okay, if it stays peaceful, that's okay. It just may be a statement with an exclamation point as long as you don't push that point into someone. Okay, uh, <clears throat> armed protest being planned at all 50 state capitals, FBI Bolton says. All 50, everyone planned, actively being planned is what this says. I called around a few people who were involved with a number of these groups and asked them today, do you know anything about plans to do this? Cause you know, I, I, I hear a lot of stuff from a lot of people. I get a lot of chatter and chat coming at me from a lot of different directions. Anything in regards to this has been crickets. Now, I heard all about the sixth that we just passed way ahead of time, way ahead of time. And we had Trump calling for people to come up to a rally. So we had all that going on. We had, I heard from all these people ahead of time. And, and it, to the point, some of it concerned me, and I mentioned that in a video, but then I kind of dismissed it. Well, I shouldn't have. I'm not hearing anything about this. Maybe you are. If you are, say so in the notes. I haven't heard anything about it. Maybe if you're hearing something, if you know of this to be true, say so in the notes. But I, I chat with some of the people that ought to have heard of this, if this is really true. And I'm getting crickets. I mean, they don't want to tell me. But, I'm, but these people are, are honest and open to it about everything in under the sun. So I can't imagine why I'm hearing crickets if this is true. Now, what bothers me then is this. 
when the Rodney King riots took place back in the 90s. I watched this on CNN. I, mean, I was TDY in Houston when that happened, working space stuff on the space, International Space Station. And I'd, I'd been jogging. I tripped over a raised sidewalk. I remember I just kept myself up a little bit. I was kind of nursing myself up in my room. It was at late, you know, after work. And I'm watching CNN on TV because I didn't get cable at home. Uh, that was one thing I did get when I was on travel. And all this started unfolding. And uh, the CNN helicopter kept flying around this square where, where uh, some of us had taken something had gone down there. And they kept flying around, around the square. And, and they kept saying, there's going to be a riot. There's going to be a riot. We're just waiting on the riders. There was no riot going on. Nothing was happening. And then suddenly all the LA cops just left. It's like the whole thing was staged. You know, I, 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 but as I was watching that, my opinion was this. That's a, CNN is inciting a riot just by suggesting it continuously live on air. And sure enough, people started showing up. A few showed up and broke a few windows. Then more showed up. Then more showed up. And then next thing you know, you had a whole bunch of people, and then you had some poor trucker getting pulled out of a truck and got his head smashed in pieces, uh, just driving through. It had nothing to do with Rodney King or any of that stuff. He was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. He should have been watching CNN. He'd have known to stay out of there, right? No, he was busy. He was a trucker. He was driving, doing his job. You know, he was driving into all sorts of mayhem until it was too late. He had nothing to do with it, as far as I know. But <clears throat> uh, that was many years ago. So that. That really impressed me that the news media uh, does things like that, and, uh, and and agencies may be involved in things like that. What is the FBI doing? Telling everybody there's going to be riots in every, every uh, or, or protest, okay, armed protest in every state capital, and I guess they they extended to D.C. also, Washington D.C. Uh, just saying saying this now. If this was true, you would think they would put this out as a private memo to all the uh, agencies to be alert to. Why did it go public? Maybe it's true. Maybe I'm off base here. Like I said, leave comments below if you've heard of this. I'm not saying one way or the other, but it just strikes me as strange. And the reason I'm pointing this out is if suddenly it inspires some of you to want to go, you better think twice about it. This could be a trap. This whole thing could be get a set up for some type of trap or uh, martial law or something that may be trying to incite something here. Um, this is not the way you want to engage things. Even if you decide that's where you want to go in your life, you, you don't let them pick and choose the time or place. But I, I, I'm not an advocate of doing that at all. You know, I tell you uh, two wrongs don't make a right that, uh, you know, you, you have a right to peaceably assemble that you got, but not to cause damage and, and, and you know, burn things and, and hurt people. That's not your right. Uh, you have a right to defend yourself and you have a right to defend your rights. But you know there, there's ways of doing these things. And so this just smacks of a setup to me. It smacks of a trap. Uh, so I, I'm just telling you, I'm, I'm bringing this to you. This is why I'm bringing this video to you tonight is I think this might be a setup that uh, they're trying to entice people into these places and get, I don't know what, what's waiting on you there. Uh, think twice about that before you decide to go. Even if you decide to go in a peaceful protest, um, which you have a right to. I don't care what the news media wants to come out with or social media. Uh, you know, they may now say, oh, no, you don't have the First Amendment don't exist anymore because uh, because an unarmed woman got shot by a Capitol policeman, unclosed or whatever they want to claim. Uh, which they claim was a major insurrection, whatever they want to claim, uh, you, this exists. This is the law of the land until there's an amendment to change it. An amendment to change, change this takes a, a, a huge process. That's not something that you can just legislate. It takes, uh, there's a constitutional process for amendments. Okay. <laughs> there's two roads to it. And it's not an easy process, and for a good reason. This is a law of the land that's to be taken seriously, and our rights are serious, they're very important. That's what makes the United States of America special is our rights. And they're eroding fast. So, including uh, through social media. So, but all that said, this could be true. So, if it is true, the word is you may not want to be around those places because it can get ugly. And it could spread and it could get ugly over the United States. And some of this ugliness is already happening in other areas. There is spread, there is consternation, there are 
people on both sides are fever pitched with their anxieties. And because of that, things are going down and happening. Uh, you may be aware that Antifa had a march on New York City just uh, Sunday, yesterday. They had a big march through New York City. Uh, it says, uh, as fears of political violence heightened. Well, you know, they, uh, they're hiding. These guys like to hide. They don't just see who they are. I like the Trumpsters. <laughs> they don't just see who they are. They hide. And they hide behind their shields and their mask and their black suits. <laughs> so um, got their little uh, barrel shields. I wonder if those are plastic barrels or metal steel barrels. But anyway, whatever the case, they're <clears throat> they're they're hiding and but they're on march. But you know that some of them had bats and sticks. It says in here, and one of them had a wore a mock policeman uniform with a pig's head, which is derogatory toward the police. So, uh, oh yeah, and there was a march down by the peace station while they yell, burn it down. That's lovely, that's real peaceful. Now they didn't, actually, this was not a violent protest as far as I know. Uh, well, San Diego wasn't so lucky there. It looks like some police got belted with bottles and eggs in San Diego. <clears throat> so there is, yeah, there's other sites where things went down. San Diego had protests too. Uh, so there were other protests in the country. So, you know, there are two sides out here and both are making themselves seen and heard. So is this gonna go down on the 20th? Is the 20th gonna look like that image from uh, of Doomsday for, uh, from the Simpsons where, Bart, uh, where Homer's sitting on the rooftop and, and everything around him is smoking craters and robots running, blasting everything. And you know, he's up there with a shotgun drinking something. You know, that was... <laughs> That was a doomsday apocalyptic vision of the future from the Simpsons. Let's hope that Simpsons prophecy don't come true. Uh, but, you know, these are the things that are happening and, and the tensions are out the roof. But look, so that's what I'm saying. Don't, don't be played into it. Here's one of the white supremacists that went to uh, Washington, D.C., and I think he went to Capitol. <laughs> I'm being facetious. No, he's not a white supremacist. And But he was definitely there on the Trump side. And, he, you know, he was talking about... Uh, the fact that, hey, everybody there wasn't white supremacist, and here's, you know, he's the case in point. And I've showed you pictures earlier that my friend took up there of a lot of Chinese citizens, not Chinese citizens, Chinese people, pardon me. They were Americans, they were of Chinese descent, or other Asian people were there at the protest. And they were unhappy with the CCP because they had firsthand account knowledge of, of how bad the place is, and they're happy to be here. And so they went there to support anything against the CCP. So this individual, uh, check his channel out. Uh, this is Angry Prepper, the Angry Prepper. Uh, he's got a good bit of subscriptions here, but uh, he had an account here of having been there and how he saw it. So you might want to check that out. Uh, he's an interesting guy. So I'll give him a shout out. He's good. Yeah, he may get banned just for telling you the truth. So if you ever wonder why Greg Allison's not absolutely fond and loving of Mr. B, well, one is Mr. B seems to favor the, the CCP. Uh, that's one thing that I'm not happy with. And the other thing is uh, he, he seems to not be too supportive of this thing right here. This, this next amendment, I read one of them. The next one after that, number five, you know, amendment number. Yeah, the one that comes after the first one, one before the third one. One that says certain uh, rights shall not be infringed. Well, he's totally about infringing them, totally about just trouncing them hard. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm somewhat less than utterly, uh, absolutely enthusiastically pleased with this individual for taking these kinds of stands, okay? So I think I mentioned in the video, anybody who's against amendment, you know, the, 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 the number, the one that comes after one, number two, which I'm kind of, trying to mix the words up. Anybody's against that, I'm not for them. In fact, I will be against them. And I will vote for their most likely opposition. That's the way I vote. That is my top priority in voting. That's the way I vote, guys. It's for my, if a certain amendment really stimulates my votes, okay? You get that? So you, you know where I'm coming from. I'll tell you there's some things I'm for and what I stand for. And that, you know, I stand for our freedoms. 
I think that one is the one that guarantees us the right to our other freedoms because that's the only one that can maintain some sovereignty that we might have. So I, I hope that never can, has to be used, but you never know. You never know. We're not there yet. But that's why I say be careful. The events leading up to the 20th can go ballistic, and we don't know where they can go. There's a lot of talk about Trump and things he might be doing. And I covered that in my previous video from last night. So I don't, uh, I, I talked to a general. I got to, well, I'll talk about that in a minute before we get, let's finish this. Here's what's uh, here's what might surprise you. Look at this, guys. <clears throat> Rasmussen's, Rasmussen's Trump approval ratings rise after the D.C. protest. Get a lot of this from the news media. See what you hear in the news media. What they are saying constantly, and where the people in this country at are two different things. Don't you remember they had Hillary winning by a landslide right back in the last election? Yeah, yeah, they, they were totally just blown away that all their jabber talk wasn't real. Well, their jabber talk never is real. Their, the country, this, this nation, is not where the news media talks. In fact, the news media has very little, the, the, this country has very little uh, belief in the news media or social media, from what I can see. But look at this. This is the proof in the pudding. Rasmussen poll was one of the most accurate polls in the 2020 election finds President Trump's uh, approval is actually rising, is rising. Interesting. Uh, talks about the move to impeach. And it says here, uh, I get all these ads for these guys want me to watch an online course. <laughs> I've been planning to do that eventually. Somehow they, they were on to me. So a source close to Poland tells Newsmax uh, what they said here, excuse me. Uh, they find that his approval ratings had, had, had went over 48% where they had been 45% before Christmas. So before Christmas, Trump's approval rating was 45%. After the, the protest, they jumped to 48%. And then according to this, get this, a, a source close to the polling firm tells Newsmax that the uh, rolling survey, where it's at right now, saw Trump's approval rating soar to 51% on Thursday night. Wow. Wow. Not at all what you'd think from hearing the news media. And But hey, look, this is the lady that Trump blasted all the time because she gave him such a hard time in debates, right? This lady gave Trump a hard time. She skewered him. She went after him, and he would, he would bite back at her. But look at this. You know what? The news media has gone so far that even she can't handle it. She says, I'm disgusted by the media bias. Yes, Megan Kelly says that. <laughs> and she turns around and defends the president. Can you believe that? Isn't that interesting? And why am I there? Because this guy's there. That's why. I told you, if this is your position, no friend of mine. Well, I'm not going to support that. Let me put it that way. I do have friends that would do that, but you know, I am definitely in opposition to that. I have friends on both sides of the spectrum, even family. They're still friends, they're still family, but I'm not going to agree with that whatsoever. Not in a little bit. Yeah, that's going to strain some friendships. I'm going to tell you that because I cannot go with this. All right. One last thing I want to show you. I'm not going to play it because it would probably cause my channel to get taken down. But there is a channel that's got this on here. He probably won't last long. He's only got 322 subscribers, new channel. And yeah, he's got a lot of views for a new channel <laughs> on this video. I am not going to play it. I'm not even going to hardly talk to it. So this is explosive on social media. They're very explosive. But let, let them that have IC. You want to look at this? My cursor's pointing. Or if you want to copy the language right here, write it down, stop the video, and go check it out before they take his channel down. I don't expect he's going to last long with that posting. You might want to see that. Remember, I said I saw copies of signed affidavits from Italy? 
having to do with somebody making a confession that they were in charge of processes that and that and machines that tabulated certain things and they were in control of it and it influenced certain things caused things to change in certain places including something that happened in the uh to say it backwards the asu <laughs> yeah take an anagram of that so yeah that's what we're talking about here this guy is the legal counsel for the individual and he's on video statement in english interesting well i'm gonna end that share i'm not saying it's true <laughs> i'm just saying there's a video there for you and i'm not even going to share it because i'm not on a free speech platform okay so i support free speech but this platform don't <laughs> you're not allowed to say certain things they equate it to a yelling fire in a theater hmm. interesting well we've seen the storm in social media we've seen a big storm in social media but think about this what's happening people are going to alternate medias in droves because of this so they're shooting themselves in the foot yeah, so they're trying to deplane certain alternate media like Parler. Let's see how long that lasts. Let's see how long that lasts. The media giants are shooting themselves in the foot. But what we see is there's a big swath of people that aren't buying their Kool-Aid. Now they're they're trying to choke it down your throat. But there's a lot of people that aren't buying that. What kind of Kool-Aid do you like? <laughs> It's a good question. So whatever you want to believe, do you believe it's this or you believe it's that, you believe the right, you believe the left, you think that uh, Pelosi's got the upper hand or you think the Trump, Trump's got the upper hand, uh, Pelosi's got a plan, does Trump have a plan? <clears throat> There's a lot of things we don't know. So I mentioned in my last video, you need to double check stuff because a lot of stuff out there there's things that we can verify are true. There's things that sound like they might be true. And there's some things, if you were to do some checking, you'll find they got some problems with them. They got some issues with a lot of these things. And that's true on the left or right. And I, I sometimes think maybe somebody plants stuff on one side or the other to make one side or the other look bad. You know, there, there may be that going on too. So that's why you need to double check things. You really, really, really need to double check things. Don't just, just because it showed up on Facebook or Twitter or somewhere else, don't run with it because you don't know it yet. There, there are certain things that are claimed that may be true that we don't know yet. There's a lot going on that we don't know yet. If there were some kind of special operations going on, you wouldn't know it. But I do know one thing. I have seen video of uh, armored personnel carriers moving through a truck stop. Now, that's not unusual in and of itself. I was... I spent four years in the Army. Well, actually, I enlisted for three years and extended nine months to bring family up to Alaska. So I was in, uh, I spent two years there, but the total time in service in the Army was three years and nine months. But after I got out, I joined the National Guard. I spent two years in the Army National Guard in Alabama. So I was in a Company B of a signal battalion at, uh, out of Gunnersville, the town I was born in. So I, uh, I've been on convoys myself, going across the country with all our equipment, shoo, 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 shoo. many times. But what we didn't do, you know, we drive down from North Alabama all the way down to Camp Shelby, Mississippi. Those are our longest drives. We we'll drive other places too, because you know, otherwise you're in your little armor, you can't do good training in your army. You got to get out and go somewhere. I mean, we always went to a military base for training. We never trained out in open mountain civilian areas. So if they're doing that, that's odd. But what it looked like was they looked like they were on maneuvers. But there were some guys walking. Of course, they're getting out in their uniforms. Well, they're you get out of your vehicles, you got to get out a little bit every night. You can stay cooped up all the time. They were after all in a truck stop. Good place to refuel. Although, you know, we, we carried a lot of our own stuff back in the day. We had our own refuel, if I recall right. Could be wrong. I don't remember going through a truck stop when I was in the National Guard. Uh, you know, that's been a long time ago. <laughs> we're talking. 
I got out of the uh, Army in 83. I got out of the National Guard in 86. So there was um, never a time, though, that we were carrying our arms, at least to be seen. They were locked up. We did not carry them with us as we were driving up and down the road. They weren't mounted on our vehicles. Uh, and, and even on, I, I work, my day job has been for years on the Redstone Arsenal. You would see people going around their vehicles, but you didn't see, the only time I saw guns on the top of the vehicles was after 9-11 at the gates, in case somebody was trying to come in the gate that shouldn't be coming through. Well, yeah, and they, they had ammo in them. Well, I just saw a video of uh, armored vehicles, uh, rally fighting vehicles. There might have been some M1911s yeah, or whatever. Uh, oh, that's the... <laughs> Excuse me, that's the 45, the 45s. So uh, 113s, yeah, M113s. There might have been a few of those. Most of them were the Bradley fighting vehicles. With M2 machine guns, they had the M2s mounted on top of the 50 cals. And I thought that was interesting. I think there might have been a deuce nest. They used to have a mountain place for 50 cals. They don't drive, I guess they don't use deuce nest anymore. But I saw the, the uh, I saw those in that video. That they were on, they were mounted, and so this was looking kind of serious. So some of these rumors, I don't know, guys. I did see the video of these moving through a truck stop, and all the trucks are in the background, and these were coming through. So it was definitely a truck stop. So that was interesting, very, very interesting. And and the video was done by a trucker, and the truckers are all over the road. They see it all. So when the truckers are surprised, you know it's different. In my experience of all my training, we never did anything like that. And am I working on the rest of the arsenal? All the time I ever saw anything like that was after 9 11. So, <clears throat> no figure. What was that all about? There may be some stuff going down. What is it? And could this be security because of all these rumors, uh, this FBI bulletin? I'm not saying what it is, but it is. It is what it is, whatever that is. Get the point. The point is this we're living in perilous times. Get ready. Go get that gas. Top your tanks. Top them again. Get you some gas cans. Fill them up. I, we just don't know what's going down here in the next few days. <clears throat> we don't know. It could be action from the left or the right. They're trying to preach the president. Some people say they're going to go after people that are supporting the president all the way to their homes. That's what one channel is claiming. Uh, I'm not saying that's true. In fact, I have a hard time believing that. I don't think we can get that far. But then there's there's uh, these claims about all these riots that's going to be occurring in every capital. I'm not saying that's not true either, but I'm saying that does look fishy to me, given that I've heard nothing about it. It just seems odd. How can you have something they're, they're claiming that's being planned? How can you have something that massive being planned? And my sources I went to didn't know that. Now, now hey, everyone of you might, I may be the only person in the dark. Maybe everyone of you want to come. Oh, Greg, I've heard all about this. I got blah, 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 blah. Okay. If you do, fine. Comments. <laughs> comments, comments. All right. So I'm going along here. But the whole purpose is, uh, again, is to underscore to you really keep your eyes wide open, head on a swivel, and really get your house in order now. I've got a friend who moved. Uh, from one location to another, just to be more secure this week. Uh, I've got a couple of people that are relocating. They're going to the bug out places right now. They're heading there just, just to hunker down. Keep your head low. That's the best thing to do. But, you know, still keep your eyes wide open, head on. So, but keep it low. You know, the whole idea of keeping your head low is don't be a target. And definitely don't go out and do anything crazy. Don't go out and, and, and you know, don't go out and break the law. Okay. Remember, you have the right to peaceably assemble. Peaceably assemble, okay? That's your right. Even if you are carrying, depends on what state you're in and what kind of laws are there, but it should not be a bridge. It should be everywhere. That's what I read in here. So, hmm, there's other rights in here too. We'll go. I've gone through them from time to time. I've read this pieces of this on this video. So, all right, my friends.
tell me, Greg? I'll keep my head low, but my eyes wide open and head on a swivel. Just get ready. Get ready. Be ready right now. Make sure you got fuel for your home if you use heat and oil. Uh, if you got to have generators, how do you keep your home warm? How are you going to stay warm if the power goes out for a month or longer? I mean, this, this video is just kind of a warning. It's just to get ready, get ready, be ready. That is the theme of this video. I'm just showing you that things can go crazy. That's why I started out with, with taking the FBI memo here. But that could also be a trap. I don't know. I don't know. If it wasn't intended to be a trap earlier, it might become one. Maybe this whole thing on Capitol Hill was a trap. I mean, look at the outcome of it. <clears throat> it certainly seems, at least in the media, to have played over to one side. But then again, is that everything? Is that the final story? What they're not telling you in the media is the droves of people going away from these social media. What's not telling you is that Twitter, Twitter, whatever they are, just lost a, 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 a good share in their stock exchange because people are excellent. Yeah, we need we need social media that's accountable to us, not it tells us how to think. With that said, I'm gonna say thank you for watching. Stay safe and good night.